So we'll get set for this one. As it is, in fact, one car we're waiting to get into position. That's the 50. Eight of Daryl Smith. He'll start on the outside of row number two. So there are your starters and drivers for our feature race. We line them up two by two, four rows back, and the single lady at the tail of Jessica Ray. Bingy and Leary to head up the super modified feature race for tonight's night number one of the 50th anniversary. Thanks for being a part of it. We're underway. Wait up. Not getting to the start at all, and that's the 58 of Daryl Smith as he will go straight to the infield, hopefully, and will continue on. One car making some moves on the outside. That is Sean Larry in car number five. He has started on the outside of the front row. He's going to play with the outside line, but how about Biggie? The side is time to play smart on the inside, and he's actually having a better run as Mark Brooms, the next one, to strike some dramas as the 19 machine just cruises along and pulls to the dreaded left turn onto the infield. So they drop in like flies in the early stages as now Leary trying to find a way past Bingham who once again gets out of shape. Coming out of turn number four, so Leary now takes the race lead away. So it's Leary from Bingham. Grumwald not too far out of that one as well in the 70 machine. So your top three pulling away from Lance Bieber in the 14. As your top two run super high wide and that might be what Grumold was looking for. He slips the 70 car up into second place momentarily. They're side by side for second and third, but it will be Bingham who holds on for the moment. Yeah, that's only for second place though as Sean Leary has darted away with this one. Bingham was following Loyery up to the high side and thought I gotta go try that line as Lance Bieber goes around in turn number four is well off the track at the moment so hopefully we still stay green in this one so Bieber goes around the fingers being pointed to him as our leaders come past him now they'll see where he's at and will continue on staying on green Chief Stewart Jerome Sutton oh, sorry Rob Ingram says it's all well and good as one of the infield Goose tries and moves through, but we're still staying green, and we're still with our new top three. It's Sean Leary from Wayne Bingham, and car number seven of Rob Grumwald rounding out your top three as they go past one car. That driver going a lap down is the 87 of Chris Ray as the yellows come on after we've passed him for the last three laps. Nine still remaining in the Supermod feature race. As they're still fighting for position at the moment. But the lights are out. We're going to go green this time. But Sean Leary, uh, Sean Leary to lead us away from Wayne Bingham and the 70 of oh, Rob Grunwald. And as Grunwald looked like he missed the start. One didn't miss the start. That was Wayne Bingham who's right on the back bumper of Sean Leary. And Leary now is the man under attack. So your top three have skipped away from the rest of the field already. So it's a three-horse race out in front in your super mod feature. It's Sean Leary continuing the lead from Wayne Bingham. And Rumwald, that's all that really, that's where your attention should lie in this one. So race down the back straight. And in a turn, number three, Leary still about three-quarters track height. Wayne Bingham who's had a bit of issues trying to keep the 23 car pointing in the right direction so far tonight in second place. And the 70 machine of Rum Grumbold rounds out your top three, but the 23 car not letting Sean Leary skip away into the sunset here at Collie as they come out of turn number four. Still Sean Leary out in front from Rain Bingham and Rum Grumbold your top three. Bingham actually is enjoying more being the chaser then the chase C as the 23 has not made a mistake since following Sean Larry. So Wayne Bingham playing the devil's advocate at the moment on the tail tank of car number five as Larry really hasn't been able to charge away from car number 23 as they've thrown the challenge from Rob Grumwald off to the side as the 70 machine is now running his own race in third place. So too is Brendan Fagan in the 26. New driver to Supermods after competing in street stocks for the last couple of seasons out of Martin Manjama. Now running in fourth place ahead of the 87 of Chris Ray and Jessica Ray as those two drivers still continue on. About to become a lap down is Chris Ray in the 87 as Leary and Bingham get past him and the taps 
really starting to tick to the side of car number five, who's got one more lap competitor ahead of him, and that will be three cars only on the lead lap if he can get by Chris, uh, sorry, Brendan Fagan. As Fagan runs the back straight, Leary now catching on to the back bumper of the 26. Still all Sean Leary out in front for the moment. Wayne Bingham was within striking distance, but once again, the 23 car snaps sideways on him. And it's dropped a couple car lengths. As they come upon the 26 machine to put him one lap down. Sean Leary is running away with this one at the moment. The top two have ditched Grumwald in the 70 car. So they come out of turn number four. Uh, two laps across the line. There's two, two laps remaining. Now yeah, two laps to go in this one, the Super Mod final. It's only racing two, really. Wayne Bingham can really upset Sean Leary if he can close it. We want to see that firewall being bent from Wayne Bingham. He was showing the pace earlier on that he wanted to go hammer down, and here it comes as the car sits out sideways. But that is not what's fast at the moment. Leary, that's been going calmly on the bottom just being smooth and consistent and that will see him come home with the feature race win for not number one of the 50th anniversary it goes to car number five of Sean Leary second will be Wayne Bingham third place an incredible third place going to Rob Grumwald with Brennan Fagan Chris Ray and Jessica Ray the only ones making the distance sadly pulling off with Lance Beaver well he was on the infield after spinning out for three laps then it was Mark Broom and the 58 of Daryl Smith that failed to make the distance as well. So a good win in the end for car number five. How about it for Sean Leary in the Leary Racing back machine?